Shalom, Shalom, Ya Shalom, Ya Sha'ala, Sabah Shalom. What's happening, Israel? Hope everybody's most high blessed. Dawada Banya Sha'ala coming out in another episode of Bringing Out the Precepts on the Shabbat. Salakim. As we heard the news that Babylon the Great, aka the United Snakes of America, has a new king. So it's bringing uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemar Rashad this quick sit down. I'm going to title this one No Matter Who's in Charge. No Matter Who's in Charge of Babylon the Great, aka the United Snakes of America, can't stop the wrath and the judgment of the Most High God, Yahweh Shemar Rashad Rashad. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Abba and Abba Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekar Kadash, True Father's name in ancient Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, the deliverer and savior of Israel, the true most high God of the Bible, fathers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Dawada Banya Shala here, coming with, uh, with another episode of Bringing Out the Precepts, all praises to the most high God, no matter who's in charge, point blank period. Point blank period, no matter who's in charge. Let's come out with first priest. I'm going to go to book Ephesians. The book of Ephesians in the New Testament. Ephesians 5, and I'm going to start at the 6th verse. Ephesians 5 and verse 6 reads, Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. Ephesians 5 and verse 6. Let no man deceive you with vain words. All these choosing between these two devils, it doesn't matter because we all know that the earth is uh, ran, ran by the Most High God. And it's the will of the Heavenly Father. And these demons are just going to do exactly what the father wants them to do. Either ramp up Jacob's trouble, uh, bring up the future prophecies, be it the mark of the beast, the so-called corona vaccine, you know, all praise and glory. Ephesians 5 and 6, let no man deceive you with vain words. So because of these things cometh the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. Ephesians 5 and 7. Be not ye there for partakers with them. Be ye, Salakia, be not ye there for partakers with them. Point blank period. We're not supposed to be in this Babylon system, you know, voting for these devils. In Deuteronomy 17 and 15, you're not supposed to put a, a, a king over the people of the Most High of not of the brethren. Point blank period. I did a lesson in the past. You can check it out on my page. Okay. Ephesians 5 and 7. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. We're not supposed to be partaking with this system, with this government buildup or whatever you want to call it. This madness and folly here in Babylon the Great. Spiritual uh, ancient Egypt. Okay. Point blank period. Let's get a precept. Go to the book of Romans. Book of Romans in the New Testament. Romans 1 and verse 18. Romans 1 and 18, and it reads, For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Okay? Romans 1 and verse 18, For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. And we know both these devils, uh, all they're doing is the will of the Father. They lie from birth. Let's get that. Let's get a precept on that. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 53 and verse, starting from the top. Psalms 53. Salakia 58. 58, I'm going to start at the second verse. Psalms 58 and 2. 
Yeah, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Psalms 58 and verse 2. Yeah, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Psalms 58 and verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Okay? Psalms 58 and verse 2. I'm going to read it again because both of these devils, they're just doing the will of the Heavenly Father, bringing on, wrapping up Jacob's trouble. And we all know that they're coming after the people of the Most High. This whole um, government structure has always been and always will be against the people of the Most High to include the GMO foods, the chemtrails, the polluted water, everything they've done here, the corona vaccine, everything, the so-called um, flu shots and all this madness. It's all against the people of the Most High. Abortion clinics, plant, uh, uh, plant parenthood is all against the Most High to kill the Most High's people. Point blank and period, like they've done the past 400 years in this captivity, Babylon the Great H, um, the United Snakes of America. Okay, 58 and 2, yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. We all know they, they colonize every single land out here with violence, rape, robbery, and murder. Point blank, period. We all know that if you don't know, for once in your life, you, all of you have smartphones. Be smart for once in your life. Google the history of America, Babylon the Great, and uh, it's all out there. Uh, Psalms 58 and, and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb, meaning as soon as they come out of their mother's womb, they're wicked as hell. Okay? So either one of these devils, they, you know, I mean, like, what do we expect? That all the... the, the the murder of the Most High's people is going to stop. If you believe that, I got three bridges Three bridges I want to sell you. Okay, Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. Point blank period. Point blank period. Let's get another priest. Let's go to the book of Matthews in the New Testament. Matthews 12, chapter starting with the 25th verse. Matthew 12 and 25 reads, And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided amongst itself is brought to desolation. Matthew 12 and 25, And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. We all know the red, the blue, Democrats, Republicans, I mean, it doesn't matter because in, 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 at the end of the story, they're all red and they're all devils that the Bible speaks of. Okay, Matthew 12 and 25, Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. All praise and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh by Shema Masiach Yahweh Shai. Matthew 12 and 26. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. Both of these devils, uh, who are, uh, Trump and Forbidden, Biden, <laughs> they're both devils. That's Satan casting out Satan. He is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Read it again, Matthew 12 and 26. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall his kingdom stand? Well, praise and glory to the Most High God. Let's get a precept on that. Let's go to the book of Marks. Book of St. Mark, chapter 3 and starting with the 24th verse. Mark 3 and 24 reads, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Mark 3 and 24, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. You see how this division is? I mean, what days right after the election, these people still fighting for the so-called votes. 
and you so-called Israelites uh, uh, voting for these devils, uh, get, uh, putting them uh, these kings, so-called kings, over the people of the Most High. Y'all need to repent. Come back to the law, statute, commandments, because that is against the Most High God to vote for these devils. Again, you read that in Deuteronomy 17, and uh, I think it's the 15th verse. Mark 3 and 25, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Mark 3 and 26, if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. We all know it's going to be the end of the United States. doesn't matter which one of these devils in charge. No matter who's in charge. Point blank, period. Let's get some classic precepts. Let's go to the book of Job, starting with the ninth verse, the 24th verse. Job 9 and 24 reads, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If it's not these devils, where, where's the wicked and who is he? Point blank period. It's a classic precept. Job ninth chapter 24 verse, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The Most High is letting us know who's running this world. The so-called elites the so-called Illuminati, the so-called bankers of the United Snakes of America. Point blank, period. They're the wicked. Okay, Job 9 and 24, the Rothschilds, the, the, the DuPonts, the, the Rockefellers. So far, so, so far, I mean, they all the devils that the Bible speaks of. It doesn't matter. Here the Most High let us know that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And why? Because we fail to come back to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High God. That's why we went into captivity. From Genesis to Revelation, it explains everything. The earth, uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. <clears throat> Salakia. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, if it's not them, where and who is he? If it's not those pale-faced devils, it doesn't matter which one of them. Point blank, period. Let's get a precept, book of Ezekiel. Most I let us know. That, that, you know, that he put them out here in, in, in charge of this wicked place, Babylon, ancient Babylon, the whores of Babylon the Great. Ezekiel 7, and I'm going to start the 21st verse. Ezekiel 7 and verse 21. <clears throat> Salakim. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey. Okay, Job 9, 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Ezekiel 7, 21. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey. And to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And they shall pollute it. Can't make this up. I spoke about the chemtrails, the GMO foods, the polluted water in Flint, Michigan, the polluted ocean, the polluted, everything out here is polluted because these devils pulling out all the cleaning sources of nature, which is the, the shrimps, crabs, lobsters, those are the, 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 you know, the roaches of the sea, the one that clings to the bottom and clean out the whole ocean. That's why all these waters are polluted out here. Point blank, period. Open your smartphones, be smart for once in your life, and you see it. Ezekiel 7 and 21, read it again. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. Point blank, period. Ezekiel 7 and 22. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. What is the secret place? The most high secret place is the land of Jerusalem, Israel. Them wax pale devils that are there, they are not the people of the Most High God. They, 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 they're exactly what they call themselves. Israel lies. They're lies against Israel. Period. Uh, Ezekiel 7 and 22. My, fa my face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. For the robbers, the robbers who robbed every, every and colonized every land out here in, in, on earth, the United Snakes of America, for the robber shall enter it and defile it. Again, those wax pale devils out there with them ponytails and them all dressed in black and all that nonsense and madness, those are not the people of the Most High God. That's why this place is getting judged. <clears throat> Salakia. 
Ezekiel 7 and 23. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes. What are those crimes? Like I said, the rape, robbery, murders, and indig uh, indigenous people, the uh, so-called black uh, Americans, the so-called transatlantic slave trade, put us into captivity from 1492 to 1619. I mean, all the tribes, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, that's why we were always called the lost tribes. And to this day, uh, you know, the people of the Most High don't even know. They go voting for these devils out here. They, go, you know, they put these devils over the people of the Most High. Y'all need to repent. Point blank, period. Ezekiel 7 and 23, make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes and the city is full of violence. Ezekiel 7 and 24, wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen. Okay, Ezekiel 7 and 24, wherefore I will bring the worst of the, heath of the heathen and they shall possess their houses and I will make the pomp of the strong to cease and the holy places shall be defiled. I already explained that. Holy place of the Most High is modern day Israel, Jerusalem. Uh, housed over there by those wax pale devils that the Bible speaks of. Ezekiel 7 and 25, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and they shall be none. Ezekiel 7 and 25, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace, and they sh and there shall be none. Okay, no matter who's in charge, who's going to stop the wrath and the judgment of the Most High God? Point blank, period. It doesn't matter which of them devils. <clears throat> Point blank, period. Let's get that. Let's get. Let's go to the Book of Daniel's. Let's prove that the Most High rules out here, and He sets all these devils up to do His will. Let's go to Daniel, the second chapter, starting with the twenty-first verse. Daniel 2 and 21 reads, And he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. Read it again so you can get into your head. Daniel 2 and 21. He changes the times and the seasons. The only one that can change the times, and we're not talking about daylight saving that is man-made. Point blank, period. He changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and he setteth up kings. He removeth presidents and he set up presidents. He give wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. And we all know through the precepts that the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is only given to Yasha Allah, point blank, period. Let's get a precept on that. On this Shabbat, let's go to the book of Psalms 147 and start at the 19th verse. 140, Psalms 147 and 19 reads, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. Verse 20, 147 verse 20, he has, he has not dealt so with any nation. He is not dealing with any other nation but Israel. He only shows his judgment and statutes and commandments to Israel. Point blank period. And as for his judgment, they have not known them. They don't know them because it's not given to them to know. Praise ye Yahweh. Point blank period. Precept upon precept, line upon line. Let's go back to Daniels. Daniels 2 and 21. He changes the times and seasons. He removeth kings and set above kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Daniel 2 and 22. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. So the Most High controls both. The good and the evil. Point blank period to do his will. Okay. You people you need to get proper understanding on breaking down of these precepts. Let's stay in the book of Daniel. Let's go to four, uh, Daniel 4 and starting with the 17th verse. Precept upon precept. Daniel 4 and 17 reads, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living, which is us here in these latter days, that the living may know 
that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. And I showed you that in Job 9.24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. I showed you Ezekiel 7.21. He gave it to the worst of the heathens and to the strangers for a prey. And they shall defile and pollute it. The Bible says, 1 Thessalonians 5.21, prove all things. Through the spirit of the Most High God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Read it again, Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the bases of men. Not the smart men, the bases, the lowest uneducated, the ones that, you know, the, the, the rejects. Those are the ones he put in charge to do his will. All praise and glory to the Heavenly Father. Point blank period. There's no way you can get around this. Let's get the uh, precept. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms uh, 9th chapter and verse 16. Psalms 9 and 16 reads, Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the works of his own hand. Again. The most high, all oh, the, 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 they think they have the knowledge to build these nuclear weapons. That's the spirit of the Heavenly Father for their own self destruction. When we talk about the modern day arrows that are mentioned in the book of Jeremiah, the fourth, uh, 49th, 50th, and the 51st chapter, the modern day arrows are the intercontinental ballistic missiles that, that they're going to be used to destroy this place, which is going to cause the lake of fire. There is no place, the lake of fire. Babylon the Great is going to be the lake of fire. So all you unrighteous people and all you um, heathens, this is going to be your future home, the lake of fire. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. Okay, Psalm 9 and 16. Yahweh is known by the judgment which he, with he executeth. The wicked is snared in the works of their own hands. They're preparing all this. They're voting for this uh, Biden as new president. He's going to continue the wrath. Uh, Trump's divided the nation, so Biden's gonna step it up, and he's gonna, you know, that's why they were bringing up defund the police. That's all through the spirit of the Heavenly Father to cause anarchy and, and, and unrighteousness and, and lawlessness in Babylon the Great. You read that in Apocrypha, the sedition against men, you know, point blank period. Psalms 9 and 17 The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forgot the Most High. Beautiful precept. Now, uh, Psalms 9 and 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell, which is the lake of fire. And all the nations that forgot the Most High. Point blank period. Point blank period. Let's go to the book of Acts. Should we take the word of man or should we believe the Most High? Should we take the word of man or believe um, the Most High? <clears throat> Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. We ought to obey and we ought to trust the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, than the basis of men that's running this world. Okay? Point blank, period. Let's get another precept. Talk about trust a little. Let's go to Psalms 118. Psalms 118, starting with the 8th verse. Psalms 118 and verse 8 reads, It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. It spells it out right here. Psalms 118 and verse 8. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. Psalms 118 and verse 9. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in prince. Point blank and period. It's better to trust the Heavenly Father than to trust either one of these devils that's running Babylon the Great, the United Snakes of America, who's being judged at this time with the corona, which is the beginning of sorrow. 
the famine, pestilence, death, destruction, storms, the fires that are burning on the West Coast, so forth and so on. The hurricanes that's coming. It's all to the spirit of the Heavenly Father. Those are spirits that he used for vengeance for the wickedness of this wicked land, Babylon the Great, the United Snakes of America. Point blank, period. Psalms 118 and verse 10. All nations come past me about, but in the name of Yahweh will I destroy them. All praises to the Most High God. Let's get a precept. Go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5 reads, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. The proper way to read the Bible. But it's only given to his people, Israel. Okay, Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith Yahweh, curse be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. Okay, you can't make this up. The trust... And, 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 and should be to the most high. Point blank. We shouldn't trust these devils that's oppressing us. They're the ones shooting us down, gunning down the people, and, and, and um, calling themselves not guilty. You people are simple, simple as hell. If you don't repent, if you're Israel and you don't repent, you're going to burn in a lake of fire with all these heathen nations. Point blank, period. It's not my words, the most high. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5. Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. Just keep on rolling here on the Shabbat lesson. It doesn't matter who's in charge of Babylon the Great, the United Snakes of America. Let's go to uh, Psalms 37. Psalms 37, and I'm going to start at the 38th verse. Psalm 37 and verse 38. So, Lockie, let me... Um, so, yeah, Psalms... Well, I'm going to start at 37. Psalms 37 and 37 reads, Mark the perfect man. And behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Mark the perfect man. What makes a man perfect? Keep coming back to the law, statute, commandments of the Most High God. And behold the upright. The upright man that stands uh, up against this system and comes back and trusts the Most High God. Yahweh Bashim Masiach Yahweh Shai. Point blank. For the end of that man is peace. Psalms 37 and 38, but the transgressor shall be destroyed together. Psalms 37 and 38, but the transgressor shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Uh, Psalms 37 and 39, but the salvation of the righteous is of Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. He is the strength of the time of the trouble. That's why we're supposed to trust the Most High God. Because as these devils ramp up Jacob's trouble, if you don't have the mighty angels of the Most High God to come past your, your to and fro's, come past your dwelling, your chariots, you know, you're, out, you're going to be left out there. And you're going to be caught up in, in, in this madness that's happening here in Babylon the Great. Okay, let's get a precept. Let's go to Book of Daniel's. Book of Daniel, starting the uh, third chapter, starting with the 17th verse. Daniel 3 and 17 reads, If it be so, our power, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fury furnace. Read it again. Daniel 3 and verse 17. If it be so, our power, which we, is Yahweh, right here, uh, ancient Paleo-Hebrew, Yahweh, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fury furnace. What's that burning fury furnace? Again, the lake of fire, Babylon the Great. 
when when those uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles hit it, and we are going to see the destruction. Allah, Allah, Babylon has fallen, as you read in the Book of Revelations. Uh, Daniel three seventeen. If it be so, our power, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fury furnace, and He will deliver us, us out of Thy hand, O King. Point blank. Period. Uh, Daniel three and eighteen. But if not, be it known unto thee. If you're not delivered, be it known that you understand. But if not, be it known unto thee, king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. That's all this place is. Babylon is, is uh, Babylon all it means. Look it up. Google it. Babylon. What does Babylon mean? Confusion. That's why there's so much confusion out here. And division. And I already proved that in the book of Matthew and Mark. A kingdom a divided shall not stand. Point blank period. Point blank period. Let's get another precept. Go back to the book of Psalms. Uh, 40 and verse 4. Psalms 40 and verse 4 reads, Blessed is the man that maketh Yahweh his trust. Blessed is the man that maketh Yahweh his trust. And respecteth not the proud. Well, who are the proud? These so-called two devils that were running for this uh, uh, office of president of the United Snakes of America. Proud as hell. But yet, they're they calling for people to vote. And so many people out here unemployed. And the food lines are just miles long. And they have the audacity to stand up there and want the, um, the black and the, the Latino and native vote. And you people just fall into their snare. That's all y'all do. Y'all trust the man instead of who 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 y'all trust for decades after decades after decades. What condition from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s to the 2000s? What, what's the difference? We're still in captivity here in Babylon the Great. You people are simple as hell. Again, Psalms 40 and 4. Blesses the man that maketh Yahweh his trust and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Because I proved it. They're liars from birth. That's the Most High who made them, made them to be the deceivers of this of this earth. Point blank period. Point blank period. Let's get a precept. Stay in the book of Psalms. Let's go to Psalms 33. And verse 7. Um, uh, Uh, let's start at verse 6, 33 and 6. By the word of Yahweh were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea together as a heap, and he laid up the deep in storehouses. Uh, 33 and 8. Let all the earth fear Yahweh. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. When he comes to destroy this place, everybody's going to understand why you should have put your trust in the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because this nation can't save you. Point blank, period. This nation cannot save you. How much time has got? This nation cannot save you. Point blank, period. Uh, let's get a precept on that. Let's go to the book of Lamentations. Lamentations 4 and verse 17. I didn't want this lesson to be such a timely lesson, but there's so many precepts to bring out against this wicked nation. Lamentations 4 and 17, and it reads, As for us, our eyes had yet failed for our vain help. As for us, our eyes had yet failed for our vain help. In watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Read it again, Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. This other devil, Biden, thinks he's going to take control of the corona. Doesn't, don't they get this, that that's from the most high to make it worldwide? You know, don't these devils get that? That these are the plagues as... Ancient Egypt was plagued. Don't they see the news? They write the news. You know, they see the locusts that are tearing up all these fields, all these wheat and rice and all these 
crop fields out there and all the lantern flies as he did in the ancient times. Don't he see the fires that are burning, these storms that are destroying this place? These are the plagues as ancient Egypt, point blank period. But these, you know, so that, you know, your hope is in a nation that can't save you. If you don't have the deliverer, the savior of, of Yasha Allah, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the true deliverance savior, you're going to burn in that lake of fire, in that, in that fiery furnace, point blank period. Read it again, Lamentation 417, as for us, our eyes had yet failed our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Okay, Lamentation 4 and 18, they hunt our steps that we cannot go into the streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. Can't make this up. Lamentations 4 and 18, they hunt our steps that we cannot go into the streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. Lamentations 4 and 19, our persecutors are swifter than the eagle. What's the uh, United States of America's um, symbol? The American eagle. It's all over the buildings. It's all over the post office. Their, their, their military trucks. Everything you see, everything is eagles out here. They talk, this is America, Babylon the Great. The United States of America. Our persecutors, because they're persecuting us. We're still in captivity over 400 years in Babylon the Great. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursue us upon the mountain. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. Can't make this up. Point blank period. You cannot make this up. Just going to bring out a couple of more precepts here. Um, I really didn't want to make this lesson so long. It was just through the spirit. This was not planned. It's just after finding out that... Biden, so-called, the other devil is going to be president. It's just through spirit. I want to bring this out for Yasha Allah on the Shabbat Shalom. Uh, let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 20. Isaiah. Book of Isaiah. 26 chapter. And starting with um, verse 2. Isaiah 26 and 2 reads, Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter it. Isaiah 26 and verse 2. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter. Okay? Read it again. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter. Which gates are these? The, 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 the gates to heaven. Let's get a precept. The gates to heaven. To the kingdom. Let's go to Revelations. Uh, 21st chapter, I'm going to start with the 12th verse. Revelations 21 and 12 reads, And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels. Just to give you in context, you can read the whole chapter of Rev uh, Revelation 21st. It's talking about the kingdom to come. Had a great wall. A great and high and had 12 gates, three on the north, three on the south, three on the east, three on the west. Okay, and there was an angel posted at each gate. Okay, had a great wall, great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates, 12 angels. And the names written thereon, so there's names posted at each gate, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Beautiful precept. Okay, the Bible says prove all things. Keep those gates open, you know, for the righteous. Well, here, these are the gates. Revelations 21 and 12, and had a wall great and high and 12 gates, and at the gate 12 angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Beautiful precept. Let's get a precept to Isaiah 26. Let's go to the book of... Matter of fact, let's stay in the book of Isaiah. Go to Isaiah 45 and verse 17. Classic precept right here. 
classic precept, Isaiah 45 and 17, and it reads, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye should not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Read it again, Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay, so the world to come, uh, uh, the new world is coming after this one is destroyed through the spirit of the Most High God, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It's going to be Israel that's going to be ruling and it's going to be a world without end. That's the world that all you Christians and all you unlearned people stumble on when you read John 3.16. So, so who, he that loves the world, um, believeth in his son, that the, I hate the power. Matter of fact, let's bring it out. The Bible says, prove all things. John 3.16, this is the Christians, the Catholics, and all these unlearned people, their famous precept. And, uh, and it's in red letters, Yahweh Shai Mashiach speaking. Uh, John 3 and 16, for the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Okay? But have eternal life. Now, I'm going to go back to Isaiah 45 and 17 to show you which is the world that, that he's referring to. Isaiah 45 and 17, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with the everlasting salvation. That's why you read precept upon precept. Okay, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be confounded, nor world without an end. Let's get a precept on the world without an end. Let's go to the book of Daniels. Daniel 7 and verse 18. Daniel 7 and verse 18 reads, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Read it again. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That's your everlasting salvation. Okay? It's only to the saints. And who are the saints of the Most High? The twelve, the children of Israel, point blank period. Priests said you get to figure it out throughout the whole Bible. Okay? Let's drop down to verse, what is it, 22? Yeah, 22, Daniel 7 and 22. Until the Ancient of Days came, for all you unlearned, the Ancient of Days that has no time span is the Most High, was here before time, before anything. It's Daniel 7 and 22. Until the Ancient of Days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom, precept upon precept, for all you unlearned that stumble with the Bible. Let me bring out a couple more precepts out here, because I didn't really want this lesson to be, um, and I still have a bunch of precepts, but I'm going to just... Uh, Let's get a couple more. Let's go to the book of Nahu. Nahu chapter 1, and I'm going to start with the 6th verse. Nahu 1 and 6 reads, Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fur fierceness of his anger? Read it again, Nahu 1 and 6. Who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in the fearness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. Okay, this is what's coming to this place. The fire, the rocks are being thrown down. All the elements here, the fervent and heat that's mentioned in the New Testament is the fire that's coming with those intercontinental ballistic missiles and everything's going to go up in smoke to save the Lord. Now, who 1 and 7, Yahweh is good, a, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Yahweh, now who 1 and 7, Yahweh is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Again, 
You're not supposed to trust these devils. Your trust and your and, and all your, uh, your it should be to the Most High God, your Creator. You know, you're not supposed to be voting for these devils out here that's persecuting and gunning us down and, and, and calling themselves not guilty. Let's get a precept on that. Let's get a precept on that. Zechariah 11 and verse 5. Bible says, prove all things. Zechariah 11 verse 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. <laughs> Can't make this up. Zechariah 11 and verse 5. Who possesses slay them and hold themselves not guilty? Do you really believe that changing this so-called president is going to stop from these, from, from, from these devils gunning our people down? Why isn't there any other nation getting gunned down but the so-called black Americans and, uh, and, uh, and the Hispanics and the natives? Why isn't the Chinaman, the Arab... The Korean. Why is it? Why is it only, the, you know, the Most High's people being gunned down? And why is the, all the oppressors and all these uh, wicked uh, devil cops uh, count themselves not guilty? This precept spells it out right here. Zechariah eleven verse five. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty? And they that sell sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich. You know, they think that they that they are in control, that the Most High is dealing with them. You know, but you know that's a snare, and and this 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 nation is gonna fold. This nation has to come down. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Bible. A kingdom divided shall not stand. Satan divided against Satan shall have an end. Point blank. Period. You don't believe me? You don't believe the precept? You don't believe the scrolls? That's between you and the Most High God. I'm going to bring out one more precept. I'm going to go into the book of Jeremiah. Because it talks about trouble. Well, let's talk about the trouble. Let's go to Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. Jeremiah 30 and verse 7 reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Read it again, Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that there, so that none is like it. It is even the times of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, Jacob, the twelve tribes of Israel, the children of Israel, Yahshua Allah, shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. Doesn't mention nothing about the other nations, point blank, period. I hope this was edifying. Again, this is just a quick lesson through, through the spirit of the Most High God. After the change of the so-called presidency here in the United States of America, your trust and, and your hope and your prayers should be to your how about Shim Yahweh Shai. These devils can't help you. They're a nation that can't help you. Point blank, period. There'll be no end to the corona. It'll only get worse. Famine is coming to this land. Pestilence is coming. Destruction, death. It's as it is written, as it shall be. Point blank, period. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, Yasha Allah, endure to the end. Our kingdom is nigh. Um, the Most High is doing His will, as He promised us. And we know that we're going to get eternal salvation for all you Israelites that are in this system and, 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 and leaning on, on, on the so-called devils of this land. Y'all need to repent, come back to the law, statute, commandments. With that, I say Shabbat Shalom. Stay most high, bless, peace.